Hey, this is Jake. This video will be covering advanced recoveries, tricks like wave dashes, other more technical things you can use in your recoveries. This is being built on the basics of recoveries, so if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link that in the description. And let's get started. The first recovery I want to show you is how to wave dash. I think a lot of people think wave dashes are a bit harder than they are and don't really try and do them. To do a forwards wave dash, what you do is you jump up, lean backwards a little bit, and then front flip as your back wheels hit the ground. That's how I personally time it. You can do it a little bit before then, but I like, I find it quite consistent just to wait until my back wheels hit the ground. Be careful, your wave dash will look like that if you do it too quickly. It'll, it'll just look like a failed front flip. So that's the kind of timing I like to use for it. What you can then do is you can also do sideways and diagonal wave dashes. So to do a sideways one, you go to the left, and then as your wheels hit the ground, you flip to the right. Same deal with the diagonal one. It's up like diagonal. That's a bit harder because you're like landing on one wheel, and it's a bit weird. But those are the basics for exactly how to do a wave dash. The next recovery I want to talk about is walls and how to recover off the walls quickly. So I think recovering off the wall, this is where your wave dash is most useful. You'll see pros a lot. They'll jump off the wall and then use their wave dash like that. You can do a frontwards wave dash, you can do a sidewards one if you want. There's lots of different wave dashes you can do. It's really good, I should have mentioned this in the wave dash part, it's really good because a wave dash lets you then instantly flip, which lets you go quicker, okay? That's the main reason a wave dash is good, because you can get two flips instantly like that. And it's, really, it's just a really easy setup from jumping off the wall, okay? To be a bit more technical with jumping off the wall, be careful trying to jump off the wall holding up. I've had a few people jump off the wall like that, and you see, it's just so slow. At worst, you want to be horizontal and kind of wave dash down like that, but you actually want to be facing down quite a lot when you're doing this. Say you've taken an aerial and you want to land on the wall, just land on the wall like this, and then jump off and wave dash, okay? Big point. I actually learnt this in in plat as well, because I was always like this on the wall, and then to get off, I'd like do this massive like grandpa turn, whereas my my teammates would be sideways on the wall, and this would help them get off quicker. So that, that was a great thing to learn. Just really try and make sure you're facing down off the walls, and then that's pretty much all you need to know. I was getting a lot of comments last YouTube video on how to recover from 50s and bumps, so I have a really cool tip for bumps, by the way. So when you get bumped into the air, you actually keep your wave dash. So it's awesome to keep your wave dash and then just wave dash on the ground and get that really nice quick recovery. It's the same kind of idea where it's off the ceiling, you keep your wave dash. So those are like cheeky times you keep your wave dash. Be careful of those. And just like try and notice them, I guess. It's like a flip reset. <laughs> like just try and know you have it and use it. With 50-50s, and bumps though, th there's nothing too special. So I guess a 50-50 recovery, I would just make sure I'm keeping up my speed, okay? When you do the 50-50, it's like keep on boosting and try and get back as quickly as possible. Try and avoid taking a 50, having no momentum, and then having to get all your momentum back. Instead, take the 50, try and keep up your speed, and then just get back like that, okay? I'm not sure what much else you can do with that. Another thing I guess you can do is pretty much all the time when you're about to take a 50 or do some kind of weird recovery, hold power slide and air roll if it's a air recovery. Because basically power slide is great for recoveries because if you land like that, you can keep up your momentum and it's less weird. Okay? I guess a another quick thing to add on to this, I, I just thought of, we can add it into the 50-50s and the getting bumped is basically when you land like this, hold power slide and then flip out of it. It's just a very smooth way to not have this happen to you and then have to be really slow in getting your supersonic back. This could be useful for bumps as well, just keeping your speed up. Again, the, the big thing is just you want to keep your speed up when you're, you're doing your recoveries. Another comment I saw a lot, which I was actually a bit surprised about, was recovering in the goals. There's not too much you can do to recover in the goal properly. So one thing I would suggest is never really be in the goal in the first place when you're recovering. Well, just like when you're playing, it's great to do sweeping goals like this. 
I'll definitely cover defense in a video later on, but if you're actually in net, you've probably most of the time already screwed up. There's some cases where it's good if you have low boost, but the best recovery for being in net is just don't be in net. But when, when you are in here, so important things to know is that these walls are quite useful to be able to just like wave dash off. So th these can be like quite cool. You can also use these walls to do some like funny saves. So I, I don't really have any specific tips for you. Oh, I guess at the same time, like if you've just taken a shot, like most people know this, but you can get out of the, the you can get out of the goal quite quickly doing that, the other team's goal. But yeah, just play around with it. Use the walls like this. Like, say you've just taken a weird 50 and you like this. Like, jump off, wave dash, and then go for another save. Do some nutty stuff. I don't know. There's no real tips there. It's just you use your wave dashes a lot and use what we talked about on the walls. So maybe even when you're landing on these walls, try and land. Whoa, I screwed that up. Try and land like this so you can get off them quicker. And yeah, that, that's about all I have to say for recovering in the goals. The last thing I want to quickly cover is how to half flip. I didn't actually, I'm surprised lots of people didn't actually ask for this, but this is definitely a recovery move. So what you do to a half flip, there's two ways. So what you can do is basically, if you look at my stick, I'm doing a very slight diagonal backflip. Okay, actually I'm going to do it this way so I don't hit the ball. What you want to do is do that very slight diagonal backflip and then pull your stick the other way, okay? I also hold air roll just in case it's not as perfect as I want it to be, but that's the basics of it. You can do, so if you watch my stick, you can do more of a diagonal flip and it will be more of like a 90 degree turn, okay? See how I'm actually turning with this? So the very slight diagonal one will get you pretty straight and the very diagonal one will get you like a turn. Okay, important things to know, these are really good for like being in goal or taking like weird 50s. Being able to half flip and do those different half flips properly is really important. The easier way to half flip actually, okay I can't say that, it's easier for me, I know some people find this kind of hard, but what I do is I bind air roll left to one of my keys, and I also have air roll right, but you only need to bind one. And what I'll do is I'll just do a standard half flip like that. Okay, but then as I cancel it, I hold the arrow left button and pretty much this is the most consistent way to half flip. You'll never be trying to do that and then like accidentally do that and screw up. This way, it's, it's really good, say like if I'm just like in the other team's half and I want to go backwards, I'll just do this one. Again, this one's better for like quite more of a dynamic half flip, but if you just, if you just need to get backwards quickly, I'll always do this one. Some half flip tricks to watch out for. So if you pull back too quickly when you're trying to cancel your flip, you'll end up pointing at the sky. So like this, you want to avoid that, okay? If your half flips look like this, it just means you're flicking your stick too quickly, okay? You can kind of see, if you see my timing, I'm actually pulling up kind of late. It's kind of like the, the How to Fast Aerial video. It's like, duh, duh. Okay, duh, duh. It's actually a pretty similar timing, actually. So that's a quick tip if you're screwing up your half flips. Let me know in the YouTube comments if there's any other weird things about half flips that you want me to clarify on, because I know a few people have some weird problems. So let me know. I'll be happy to help. And that many pretty much covers everything for the advanced recovery video. Comment again if I missed anything. I'll be happy to just quickly answer them in the comments. Still, join the Discord course. This is week three of it. I'm going to open up the last three weeks to the public as well. So everyone, get excited for that. And yeah, hit subscribe and thanks a lot. Good luck.